Hey, what's going on, everyone? NECA here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. I know I am. This isn't my normal type of video, but I got a bunch of new Cold War subscribers from my last video that I made on the secret camos that have been requesting that I make this tutorial as well. So without further ado, here we go. Let's get into it. First things first, you're going to want to make sure the class that you're doing this on is one of your first five classes or else it won't work. There is a workaround for that, but I'll go over that later in the video. I'll be using my first class for the tutorial today, so I'm going to be duplicating my Tundra. Basically, what you're going to do is make sure you have on whatever gun you want to duplicate as your primary, and you also have to have on lawbreaker as a wild card you're gonna have to make sure you have that unlocked i'm sure if you're watching this tutorial though you already have that unlocked you unlock it really early on moving on you're also going to want to make sure you have a friend with cold war for this so if you're lonely unfortunately you're out of luck after you have that class set up you're going to join your friend session while they're in a party and you're going to have them change over to custom games but not start the game or anything just in the pre-game lobby once you're in the private match pre-game lobby you're going to go into your custom classes and you're going to pick the same number class that you did for multiplayer so in this case for me it's going to be the first class you're going to want to make sure this class is a lawbreaker wild card as well because that's basically overkill you need that to put a primary as your secondary weapon after that's on you're going to go to change your secondary weapon you're going to go into the primaries and you're going to hover over the gun you're duplicating so for me it's going to be the tundra and once you're hovering over that gun you're going to want to pull up social to bring up your friends list so i'm going to hit triangle on my ps5 controller if you're on xbox you're going to hit y i'm not positive about k-ban but i'm sure you guys know if you play on it and if you're on controller you actually don't do this next step but if you're on pc you're going to move your keyboard and mouse and the settings button will pop up in the bottom left that you can only click with the mouse so you can't like do it if you're on controller you're just going to click into that settings menu so your screen's going to look like this with like all the graphics options and all that and from there once you have that up or if you're on controller um you're just going to have like your friends list on the screen still you're going to be in social from there you're going to have your friend who's hosting the game actually back out and they're going to take you as well so they're going to do like bring party and it's going to bring you back to this glitch like class setup screen from here you're going to click on the gun that you wanted to duplicate so for me the tundra once again and if you want to throw in a certain blueprint you can do that as well and as you can see i have both tundras on so you've officially done the glitch completed it at this point you're good to go you can just start up a multiplayer game and use the class i should have said you're almost done actually because there's one more important thing you have to do and that is that uh, make sure neither of the guns have the same exact set of attachments for some reason if you have the same attachments on both guns the game will recognize it as you just having one gun when you start playing the game so you won't even be able to switch but what you're gonna have to do is change an attachment on just one gun so for example if i go to my primary you'll see that i have the tiger team barrel the bruiser grip the seven round mag the serpent wrap and the marathon pad now if i go to my secondary and go to gunsmith you'll see that i have the same exact exact five attachments on but like i said that won't work so i'm gonna have to change one of these i think i'm gonna change the marathon pad to the raider pad and now even though most of my attachments are the same i changed the one that affected my performance of the gun the least so now i can actually use both of the guns in the game just by swapping by hitting the normal like weapon switch button i hope this tutorial was easy enough to follow and that it could help some people out if this did help you out it would be huge if you could return the favor by dropping a like rating on this video it helps me out way more than you guys know i'll actually be making another cold war video this week on the new jungle map remaster from bo1 that just dropped so make sure to subscribe and be on the lookout for that if you enjoy Cold War. And yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload. Peace out, everyone. Knock out.